In this program, you'll turn the entire LED strip red and then blue while simultaneously playing tones that toggle back and forth. So this is going to look like a police siren using the LED strip and the speaker. The first thing to do is include the LED strip library. What a library does is it gives your code access to special functions that control specific hardware. In this case, the LED strip. So once you use this hash include LED strip dot H, you'll be able to use functions like draw, set pixel, and clear with the LED strip. To finish setting up the LED strip, you need to give it a name. And I've named that strip strip because it's easy to type and easy to remember. Next, you'll tell the LED strip library three things with the LED strip function. The first argument to this function is how many pixels are on the LED strip. That's 15. The second argument to the function is which pin is our green wire of the LED strip plugged into. That's 13. And the third argument to this function is which pin is connected to the blue wire of the LED strip. For us, that's 12. In the void setup function, you'll use the pin mode function with two arguments, A5 and output. Your speaker's plugged in here. The void loop is broken into two parts. First, display red and play a tone of 500. And second, display blue and play a tone of 100. Let's go through that line by line. Use the strip.setPixel function to tell the LED strip which pixels you want to light and what color you'd like to light them. That first argument, which pixels you'd like to light, here is strip.all because we want to light every pixel on the strip. Notice that the A in all is capitalized. The second argument to the setPixel function is a color value. That can range from 0 to 299. Red is 100. Next, use the tone function with the arguments A5 for the port and 500 for the tone value to start playing a tone of 500 hertz on the speaker that's plugged into port A5 and ground. Use the strip.draw function to send this set pixel information to the LED strip. Because there are no delays between set pixel, tone, and draw, all of this is going to look like it happens instantly at exactly the same time, even though the code is running from top to bottom. Use the delay function with an argument of 1000 to pause the code here for 1000 milliseconds or one second with the strip on completely red and a tone of 500 playing on the speaker. The second half of this program is almost a mirror image of the first. Again, use the setPixel function to set strip.all to a color value. Now we want the color to be 299 or blue. Use the tone function with the arguments A5 and 100 to start playing a low tone of 100 hertz on the speaker plugged into port A5. Use the strip.draw function to send this set pixel information to the LED strip. And remember, there are no delays between these three functions, so this is all going to look like it happens instantly. Finally, Use the delay function with an argument of 1000 to pause the program here for 1000 milliseconds before the code reaches the closing curly brace of the void loop, jumps back up to line 12, and starts running the functions inside the loop again. 